Commissioner Central, Mr. Josefa Navoku, Chairman, Special Administrators, Nasori and Nasinu, Mr. Umakant Patel, Chairman Talebu Province Advisory Council Committee, Mr. Altaf Hussein, the Chief Executive Officer of Nasori and Nasinu Town Council, Ms. Anurushika Bari, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, Bulavinaka, and a very, very good evening to all of you. It gives me great pleasure to join you uh, on the fourth day of commemorating Girmit in Fiji. Extend my sincere appreciation to the organizing committee for making this week-long event possible. Ladies and gentlemen, we gather here today sharing a common bond to commemorate the arrival of indentured laborers from British India 143 years ago. The stories of the Girmatiers is one of the untold history of difficulties and of calamity. At the same time, one of the greatest periods of fortitude and of resilience. Their tales of toil and struggle, combined with perseverance to forge ahead, teaches us many things. Therefore, such a piece of history is worth more than being a tale of the past, but a tale worth retelling. Every year during celebrations as such, it should be retold. Indeed, for many decades, the true story, the true tragic experience of Girmit was un untold. It was sanitized during the colonial times and in the post-independent Fiji. For the larger part, Girmitiers were architects of the society that we actually live in. Ladies and gentlemen, we all know the background to the emergence of the indentured system, whereby many were lured by the Arkatis, the recruiter's agent, as a decoy for a better life in a foreign land not far away, whilst others were tricked into boarding the ship without a clear direction on what tomorrow would actually present. However, what greeted them was the exact opposite of the promises made. Life in inhumane conditions, nominal remuneration, corporal punishment, sexual abuse, and suicide. They lived through rainy days with crushing tasks at hand and the constant threat of illness and disease. Ladies and gentlemen, despite the hardship, a number of Girmitiers survived. And through hard work and dedication, they brought themselves out of abject poverty and helped build the Fijian economy. The Girmitiers cleared land, they built roads, and toiled mainly in the sugarcane fields that were the anchor of the Fijian economy. Then, and also it continues to play an important role in our economy. Not only did they persevere to generate economic activity, they gave equal importance to the establishment of education through building schools and education centers. This was seen as an essential tool for eradication of poverty and securing a better livelihood and status in the community. Ladies and gentlemen, they also suffered culture shock and loneliness. And this takes me back to reminiscing how you and I feel during short vacations and, and duty travel abroad, where in a matter of days we start missing our family and friends. And our safe place, which is our home, and in most cases our mum's cooking, a rather somber imagination. Yet they were determined and prevailed over the culture shock and loneliness with an ambition to survive and thrive. And above all, determined that their future generations would have better lives than they had actually endured. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the main message that I want to communicate this evening is that Kirmatiyas have been a meaningful and inspiring part of our nation's development. And this is a recollection to be retold because of its relevance to our present day and future. The Girmatiers were a shining example of survival, of solidarity and sacrifice and service to our nation. A case in point for each one of us to practice in everything we do. This is evident through many occasions which we celebrate in Fiji for Eid, for Diwali or Christmas. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm actually proud to reiterate that the Fijian government continues to uphold values through the Girmit area and, have, and we've actually built on these. Today, access to education is freely available and each child has access to education despite their gender, ethnicity or financial status. Access to basic needs and utilities. Fiji has a robust infrastructure and access within and to the rest of the world. Job opportunities based on merit. Equal citizenry through our common identity as Fijians and true democracy. Ladies and gentlemen, many of us present here today, present here today, have a connection to a story about the Grimites through our own families. Therefore, today holds a special significance to reflect on the contribution of the ancestors and the four parents, resilient people who built this nation in peace with people from other backgrounds. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we hold a common identity. So this is a celebration of its own and a wonderful achievement. We are truly blessed to be living harmoniously, irrespective of color, irrespective of religion, irrespective of status. So ladies and gentlemen, let us today acknowledge the Girmitiers for being part of our nation's colorful history and one that we mark as a day of celebration and a day of remembrance. I urge us all to honor the legacy that Girmitiers by remembering their struggles. And whilst it was a journey of trials and tribulations, we must take home with us the teachings of resilience and perseverance this evening. We must also take back with us the teachings of being practical, being capable and being flexible. But more importantly, do not take the opportunities presented to you for granted. Persevere equally on the educational, entrepreneurial or whatever opportunity life presents to you. Use today as another opportunity to rededicate yourself to your own journey. And in doing so, find hope in a better tomorrow. I wish you all an eventful evening and look forward to seeing the week-long event turn into a successful one. Yunawa Lebu, Tanyavad, Shukriya and thank you.